Hey anyone, welcome back to Visually Happening. I'm Victoria Harrington and this segment is Visually Speaking, where I read out loud a piece of original content that I wrote, whether it's a story or a thought or a poem or anything of the sort, and I just look forward to hearing some kind of feedback from it. So, sit back and try to enjoy my sacred five. My sacred five. There are far too many people in this world who hold hands in the summer. I mean, like, it is too, too, too hot for that shit. Like, really. In 98 degree weather, you need to connect yourself to something with just as much heat or possibly more to only create more. I never understood. And that's probably why I'm single. You know, a prior romantic turn to a current cynic. You might say, well, what about winter? And for that, I'll say, okay, if you have one-dimensional hands, I mean, even with gloves, there are ways to severely overheat. Pockets keep both sides completely warm. Breeze keeps both sides completely cool. So why does it bother me that people do this so much? Maybe because no one wants to hold my hand. Maybe because I habitually date men whose hands cling too close to the weather around us. Or their hands are too rough. Or they're too soft, too clammy. Or what if I told you that I see holding hands as something so crazy, insanely sacred that that was what I liked about you so much? I mean, I could count the number of times you held my hand in the total amount of the hand you held. It was a moment before our first kiss. It was when we ran from the cops at that abandoned warehouse at like one in the morning. It was when you took me to the hospital to see my dad. It was outside of the building of the biggest interview of your life. It was a moment you walked away from me. Sacred. You know, not just because we're walking into the movie theater or the park or to brunch, or the airport, the train station, the house party, the restaurant, grandma's house, my friend's house, your friend's house, my parents' house, your parents' house, the bar, the baseball game, the festival, the concert, down the street, up the alley, through the forest, along a trail, into a mountain, over a hill. Why do people need to hold hands everywhere? We didn't need to. Even when we ran into your ex, we didn't need to. Or when that creep was viciously catcalling me, didn't need to. Or that time you met eyes with this beautiful blonde and you didn't think I saw when you smiled back at her. We still didn't need to because I know I'm yours. You know I'm yours. There's no need to rub that in the world's face. I mean, really, what are the chances that that couple stuck to each other from the glue of 98 degree weather just found out they were having a baby? Or the pair whose backhands were coming up blue from all the collected snow, they were celebrating an anniversary. Could two people in perfect degree weather just enjoy the hand they're holding for no particular reason? That the fact of enjoying another's hand for no particular reason is actually the most sacred of reasons? I don't know. I only write what I do know. Thank you guys for listening and watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Please feel free to write anything below in the comments, anything I need to work on or things you like, things you didn't like. I offer that criticism to myself, please. Thank you so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, New video is coming up very soon. Please enjoy your day if you can, and I will talk to you guys next time.